well, I was hoping for some fog. Obviously that's not gonna happen, I guess, although it is raining a bit, but that's not gonna help me to make sense of all this chaotic woodland. And uh, fog would definitely help me out trying to simplify a scene and find some interesting compositions. Although I think it still was worth coming here because this woodland has a lot of potential. There are a lot of gnarly, beautiful looking trees and I'm sure that there is at least one composition. I'm sure there is more. And this morning I find myself in, uh, well, back in the Pentlands Regional Park. I've been in this woodland before, but I haven't explored like properly through the lens of woodland photography, if you know what I mean. So I guess I'm lucky being back here and uh, although conditions aren't perfect, I think I need to have a little walk around and see if I can find some promising compositions and that I can come back when the conditions are good and then try out and see if it works in a fog and mist and all that good stuff. So yeah, without further ado, it's time to grab a camera and uh, go for a little walk, shall we? So I didn't have to walk too far because uh, just a few feet away where I was just shooting a video of me talking to a camera, I found this fallen tree with all its branches kind of growing upwards into the sky and like at a very perfect sort of uh, vertical angle. And uh, I think there is like a promising composition. So obviously without fog it's not as impressive, but uh, once I'll come back when there is fog and some mist, I think the composition might be a little bit more compelling. All the background, I might be able to isolate it uh, a little bit better. But still, I'm gonna put the image here on the screen and uh, see what you think. So. Let's keep on marching. Right, I think I found a interesting composition, well, an interesting subject, and that would be this beautiful gnarly tree that's right behind me. It looks really cool. The problem is, well, <clears throat> that this fence it's really not add anything interesting to my shot, so I don't know if I'll be able to get rid of it. I could probably try to jump over it, not sure if I want to do it, because this might be a private property and things like that, and probably jumping over it's not something I would want to do. I could try to incorporate into my shot and have some sort of like a human element, and probably that might work, I don't know. I'll take a few experimental shots and see if I can have an at least some workable composition. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to work with what I'm presented here. So yeah, all right. I think I found a way to get rid of that fence. And basically I put my wide angle lens on my camera, walked right next to the fence and sort of just put my camera over the fence and just framed the tree without having that nasty fence in my shot. And I think I was able to capture a few cool images. All I need is some proper atmospheric conditions, some fog, some mist, and then I'll be able to come back and properly take the shots. So yeah, I think this morning is quite a success. It's a bit tricky. You need to work hard to find some cool compositions. Woodland photography is never easy, never easy. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna have a walk for a few more minutes and I'll jump in my car and uh, head back home because the sun is rising a little bit, although I don't think it's going to be a sunny day. So we might have a few sunny spells here and there. So yeah, enough talking, let's keep on walking. So I was walking along this uh, boardwalk right across this moss field, if you will, and I think I noticed a composition. I'm not sure it's gonna work. And uh, that is basically, as you see, the tree, these beautiful trees. They look really cool in this triangular formation. Unfortunately, one of them is, uh, it's quite tall, so then I would need to 
either use my wide angle lens or just tilt my camera up and the problem that that introduces is uh, well I get a lot of sky which I prefer not to have because it just sort of throws the whole image uh, out of balance you get you have most of the scene sort of in, in a shadow and you have this very bright sky so that's not cool so we'll see obviously when the conditions are right when the the fog is very heavy I'll come back here and I'll try to take the same image and, uh, and uh, yeah I'll see if it's going to work but uh, at the moment I have my doubts so basically I'm going to take two shots one just uh, a wide angle shot with the sky included and another one is uh, I guess I'm gonna have to cut uh, the tall one tree and uh, to cut out the sky completely and see maybe that composition is going to work a lot better I don't know we'll see that's a tricky one so yeah I'm gonna put both images on the screen and see what you think and I am going to keep on marching through this forest and I'm already soaking wet at least my sh shoes because it's quite boggy here so yeah Let's go! Alright, I just got back again on the same boardwalk that I was walking along when I noticed these three trees in this uh, small woodland here. And uh, I've noticed um, this tree and this boardwalk that sort of goes into the distance. And I think it makes for a nice, nice composition. I tried a vertical and a horizontal shot and I think the vertical shot uh, works the best so here's my shot all right I guess that shot with that tree and the boardwalk is going to be my last one for today so yeah it's starting to rain and more rain clouds are coming over the horizon it's getting a little bit dark in here so so yeah i guess that's a signal for me to pack my stuff and uh, head back home so as always thanks for tuning in thanks for watching and uh, if you enjoyed this video then do consider subscribing share drop a comment all of that good stuff and i'll see you on the next one next week peace mm -hmm.